Um, you're noted before you go on by my name. <laughs> you're noted as being one of the most prolific actors of your generation. And while one's in it, one may not realize one's proliferation. But being brought to your attention, what do you think about that? Well, everything that I do is out of a desire to feed my family, you know. I went to school for chemical engineering and graduated, but I became an actor because as a chemical engineer, I could make $30,000 a year, can't raise a family, but the first show when I crossed an audition paid $7,000 a week. I did the math. I can do better for my family with that sh with acting. So my proliferation, my does my indomitable nature with regard to being in a scene, when I would go out for an audition, I had to achieve because I was carrying my family's needs on my shoulder. You know, when I faced difficulties within this industry, I refused to go away because my family was dependent upon this. When I play a character, I know that only one person can walk away with the scene. And that person that walks away with the scene walks away with the next job because my family needs this money. So it's not out of a desire for the accolades of being considered a great actor. It's, it's out of the need to be a great provider that I will not go away. Well, that process definitely has worked in your favor. You've gotten job after job. Just a look at your IMDb and you, you have got you know, so many films. But one thing I notice about you is when you play a bad guy, a bad guy, you are able to make him so likable in Dead, in, uh, dead Presidents, in Get Rich, in Hustle and Flow. And we've talked about it before, I've talked about it before with you and you say it's on the paper, but no, there's something about you that, that you're able to pull that out. What is that? What do you see when you look at the paper and see this bad guy, but people walk away going, I loved that bad guy. Well, I don't, cons like everyone says, there's no such thing as a bad guy. We're all conflicted human beings at the end of the day. And like Sidney Poitier said to James Earl Jones, he just received the Marian Anderson Award, and I was able to give him that award, Lifetime Achievement Award. And James said that Sidney told him that early on that he only plays these good guys because he wants to be a positive role model in the world. And, and James said, but he never liked the good guys. He liked the conflicted guys. And I always aspired to be like James Earl Jones because there was always consequence of action. There was always this duplicity of, 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 of nature locked within him. And as a result of that, I think I can illuminate the roadway to happiness, more so by not playing, okay, this is the hero. No, this is the human being that makes bad choices. And if you can associate with the bad choices and arise above it, then you can win. Yeah, Don't worry about the time. We're gonna do, we can do, oh. you can ask your next question oh, and just you. keep going. I was thinking, I didn't no. get it. <laughs> no, you'll be What honest. did you specifically see about Alphonse that, that really jumped out to you and why you wanted to play him? I, I saw someone who was, he, he reminded me of what I was going through in my personal life. Someone that was trying to reach a particular height and have an achievement of, of, of peace and happiness, but had done things in the past that compromised the legs of his future. And now, in being able to see that and deal with that and know that the consequences of those actions are, you know, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a soul for a soul. I know to let go of some of that past and be open to the future. You know, you gotta let go of the resentment. You gotta let, they say no one, you know, let's bury the hatchet, but no one ever forgets where the hatchet is buried. You know, you have to forget where the hatchet is buried. I think your fans will love that answer. I, you know, they follow you and to see you speak on that is, I think that's amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so much for that. Thank you. Thank you.